Have you done Molly? Yes. What we? Wait, what? I can't believe that's a real question you're asking her. It's so crazy. Because I we don't like at what in high school it was called ecstasy. <laughs> oh, it is. is that true? Yeah. Yeah. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Trash Tuesday today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Trash Tuesday. Esther, don't you love peaches? Um, life is more exciting when there's peaches involved. Go to DrinkSimplySpike.com slash Trash Tuesday to find out how to get your hands on new Simply Spike peach. That's DrinkSimplySpike.com slash Trash Tuesday. Flavored beer, naturally flavored with other natural flavors. Simply Spike Co., Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Celebrate responsibly. Simply Spike is a trademark of the Simply Orange Shoes Company. Stop throwing your money away. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash trash Tuesday. That's rocketmoney.com slash trash Tuesday. Rocketmoney.com slash trash Tuesday. Hey, sluggies. Happy Tuesday. I am on the road. You can come see me in San Antonio on June 23rd and 24th at the LOL Comedy Club. I also will be in Philadelphia in August at the punchline and you can see me in austin texas at the vulcan gas company october 6th through 7th i also have dates in san francisco san jose and a lot of really cool places so go to annieletterman.com shows and you can see me every thursday um, at 12 p.m pst on youtube on annie wood with me and todd come check it out hi slugs i am so happy and excited to be back on the road sharing my crazy stand-up with all of you um we are gonna have so much fun at these shows i will be in new york city july 19th through 22nd i will be in dc september 28th and boston at the wilbur september 30th and more get tickets at estronice.com i cannot wait to have fun with you guys this summer and this fall One time I overheard the older girls in dance class talking about how if you have an O-R-G-A-S-M. I can't I read. <laughs> to me, you do that? If you have an orgasm uh, during. Is that origami? That's when you fold pieces <laughs> together until you squirt. If you have one, if you go-go during an ecstasy high then you'll never really go go the same again that's some dumb shit of, that's not true girl. no isn't uh, it is it harder to come on molly do you even care to come because everything feels like a come <laughs> like yeah i'm not i don't you it's don't like a living orgasm right like, you're like yeah you're just Kalila, when i'm looking good. at you in that outfit everything feels like a come <laughs> <laughs> thank you i'm trying to figure out this leg harness you guys it's not it's, 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 it's slouching off the shoulder i never thought i'd say this to you but i think your shoulder might be too small for this <laughs> <laughs> I literally, my, I've never, it never occurred to me. Also, before we started rolling, I was like, just squeeze in it. And then I realized it was a shoulder issue. And I was like, fuck, this is <laughs> not right. Wait, is Molly something you've only done like in your younger years? I don't like this <laughs> talk to the hand nonsense. <laughs> talk to the hand is so, we, can we bring that back? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Has, like no one has seriously said that in 35 years, Talk right? to the hand. I mean, this is like not. I think my stepdad does. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> I'll fucking cool. scream at this little hand. Wait, is it something that you do as an adult or just as a teenager? Everyone does it. When's the last time you did Molly? Wait, they even have a Molly assisted psychotherapy now. Yes. What? Go, that's, yeah. yes. I swear to God, in the same vein as That's like where it started. That's stuff. where it came yeah. from. This Listen to me, bitch. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna this therapy one on one you. Yes, oh, tell her, Annie. Tell her. That's where it started. It started in couples therapy. That's where they found out found ecstasy. It was a pill they were giving couples so that they would like rekindle their love for each other. What? Does anybody want to look that up so I can show Esther how smart I am. I believe you. Don't worry. Wait, so I'm like a I'm like I have a PhD in drug in drugs. I, that that I do believe <laughs> in college drugs. That college did not take me eight years to graduate. from. But I'm asking is Molly something like adults? OK, you know how like it's something you would love to do. Yes, adults do it. You know how like cocaine? It's like cool yes. party scene. Yes. Adults. Molly do is that Molly's more. I think Molly and coke are equal. And why does it called Molly and ecstasy? Yeah. Ecstasy was just what was around when we were in high school and it was like more coke involved in it and it was like cut with more stuff and then Molly is the pure crystal. How are you alive? I, because I lived, baby. <laughs> how are how have you existed this long without living? It's been really hard. You've weakened at Bernie's yourself through life. It's it's not easy. It requires <laughs> a lot of planning and strategy. But I am Oh no, I'm sorry, Andres. 
I had what? you pull up like an abstract. Isn't that the worst <laughs> when you look something up and it's like not just like an easy you guys, answer? <laughs> I got one of you guys, he pulled up NCBI. Like that is what we use as a resource for nursing school. Also, on is, does this, is this not the worst experience when you open something? It's like the abstract, the introduction. You're like, are you? I'm going to college. Can I get a Wikipedia? I tried like, to stop you from looking it up. I no, knew but this honestly, was going to be no, good. No, because don't you think like am, our, um, Google needs to be better about having the ones where it's just like, the random question you click on it and there's just like one highlighted answer that's what chat gpt is for now <laughs> we just ask it with the machine questions and the machine tells us how pretty we are you guys i want to say that i think i'm fully you... tangled and i'm sure i put this all wrong you're tangled you're tangled did you push it in i the the shoe with a nail tell everyone it. what happened okay so um i bought these today you bought and them today today because i was like oh Oh, you like had a retail experience today? I did, and I never go out to shop. You guys know this. So what happened was I ordered this for next day pickup on Monday, and I went to go pick it up on Tuesday. It wasn't there. I went to go pick up yesterday. It wasn't there because apparently it's all everything sold out from EDC. Oh, EDC. yes. And so between Coachella, and between Coachella Stagecoach, and Stagecoach, between there was nothing left. This was all that was left, this dress and this harness. So I was like, give me those fucking boots. And when I put them on, there were two nails sticking up. So... I impaled myself while putting them in. So I, I, I actually, I'm not, I'm not putting my foot all the way to the. Is this like a Filipino thing <laughs> that you're good at this? Yeah, because it, it, for Easter, like we do crucify real people on a cross. I can't. With your uncle, right? Yes, it's just a familiar, <laughs> it's just genetic, guys. She's like, it's stigmata. <laughs> Wait, Pete, will you introduce the theme today since it was your idea? I mean, by the way, we need to unpack how it's Pete's idea. I mean, that's where we're, we're trying, I'm trying. Well, I heard this thing called EDC, so very uh, producer-like. I'm like, hey, uh, let's do EDC. That's it. That's Electronic it dance music? I think That's it's Electric it? Daisy Carnival. Oh, really? Oh, that sounds so <laughs> That's like the OG OG. But you know what I like about Trash Tuesday? Our theme is like, well, like pretend we go to a thing and not go to it yeah <laughs> well that's by the way the only reason people go to coachella is to, is dress, to up, dress up yeah which don't well, maybe they like listen to the music. i feel like that wasn't the theme this year though i feel like everyone dressed down for coachella yeah but it's still about how you looked when you were there it was about dressing down like don't you feel like if you were performing at a show like coachella where it's more about how the audience is dressed. You'd be like, why? What the fuck? Fuck you guys. I want all of my audience members to come dressed like they are on Molly, Ecstasy. See, I want mine uh, to come dressed like flipping. they are going to a sleepover, like they're sleeping. Like, I want to, you know what? what to make like, it make sense when they fall asleep during your set. <laughs> Like they're Hugh Hefner, you know, at a, one of his big parties in like fancy pajamas. Well, I know this must happen to you on the road because people come to my shows dressed like you. They're like, I wore my Esther outfit. And they're like, By the way, I outfit. heard a fan told on you what? that you gave away. It's so fucked up. You literally begged me for sleepover by Esther. And then a fan told me that you threw it out to the crowd and gave it away. <laughs> but what so. was it? Was it? The, it was a it was an old it was like one of the ones. OK, ones. well, they, they did tell a shitty one. <laughs> no. Before it was oh. named sleep, it was like one of those. I was like, I'm not gonna. Okay. I was cleaning out my closet and I was being very realistic. I was like, okay. No, no, no. It wasn't a fucking. I never give away your fucking the one I begged By you for. By the way, you can. It's fine. No, no, no. no. I, I gave away your um the one that like remember there was one that was a, good and I didn't get it and I was like, why is that one good? And you're like, Dave made. Remember that when one. you were the. <laughs> it was like the pea colored one. <laughs> There I'm like, sorry, a... bitch. I can't keep this in my fucking closet forever. Remember when you got naked in front of Dave while he was on his work? And I was like bending over, <laughs> spreading my butt cheeks. And he was really upset. <laughs> like really he upset. He was like, can we go to writer's strike? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, can I pick at this? <laughs> Wait a second. I want to ask you guys. I know you're really into sleepovers, but I was never allowed to go to any of them when I was younger. Would you allow your kids to go on a sleepover today? Wait, that's actually such a good question. Oh, I was never where I said I was going to be. I was like <laughs> well, in another no, 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 state. Like, I was like hitchhiking. No, like, young, hey. young, Annie. Like I'm talking about like six, seven years old. I would have to know the parents. Yeah. I would have to trust the parents. And then the setup. Mm -hmm. If there's anyone else in the house, like the, the, the person's older brother, like I would be so I fucking say this. paranoid. My kids, I don't want to say this because I feel like when you say this, you manifest it, but my kids will not be getting diddled. I'm so sorry. It's just like not going to happen. So whatever I have to do to... Make sure that happens. I think no sleep. My my policy is no sleepovers. You're making me realize like my parents never gave a fuck where I slept. And you didn't get diddled, which no. is a fucking miracle. <laughs> and I was never allowed sleepovers, but then I got diddled at home. It's like so sad. It's just like took you so long to get hot. And you're still like baby hot, which is the weird thing. 
<laughs> like literally, they I in high school I met a group okay. of girls and we had a sleepover the same night we met. I never went home. My parents never checked. Like nobody cared where I slept. Do you guys care? Because they were sleep? asleep at not even a little bit. Um, <laughs> they were asleep at nine, bitch. They didn't know. They didn't care. Wait, your parents. You know what your parents taught you though, because you have this too. What? I think you do. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think you. They taught you like good self care. Expand on that. Like to go to bed at nine and not give a shit that your kid is like up oh, <laughs> is like is like above first. all like <laughs> above all like we will get our beauty sleep. No, that is <laughs> handle so your life, bitch. Adults first, like they totally prioritize themselves. And you love the rejection of it. That's why you want to live back in the basement. You're like, I, I want my parents to like not do every like they'll do stuff with you, but like you you like that they won't do all. Did of your it, right? parents prioritize themselves over you? I get the <laughs> vibes that they did. Yeah. <laughs> my mom. <gasps> my mom's biggest mistake she made when she, but she was also like a pushover like she wanted us to really like her so <laughs> she would like let us do whatever we wanted and then even just do hearing that like the thought that your mom even had enough of a personality to want to be liked and like my mom is like a blank canvas of a human but I think mom. she wants to be liked too but she she like learned a Stepford Wives way my mom uh, yeah. yes yeah but she, that's like but she also likes I mean she's like she's kind of like your mom's basically like more in the moment than all of us like she's like cleaning folding. it's true like, yes she is she's like there's a task at hand and she's like stop with your nonsense even her voice when we talk to her like ever it's right. like she's like hey okay Esther. all right sure i'm in the middle of something but it's fine yeah, what <laughs> have you ever seen your mom very emotional or like really just fuck like big big emotions oh man not in a, not if me no I've seen my mom drive me to the wrong, like she would drive me to like swim class when I was supposed to be going to school, you know, <laughs> like in the wrong place. And she would be so mad. She'd be like, I'm an idiot. Like she would literally be like, what Seam <laughs> Philip Seymour yourself. Hoffman and <laughs> And uh, Boogie Nights, like, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> Mom, I think it's okay. We don't even like swim practice. Um, but my mom, her biggest mistake she ever made was she sent us to this. We lived right by the park, the TW Park you, in Winco. Wait, We're so lucky. That no, is so lucky. No, no, no. I, I'm I, jealous. I, I, I'm blessed. I really look back on my life, even though I was raped and molested <laughs> in every hole. It's still like worth the location. You know what I mean? Living near a park? <laughs> I, I mean, it's totally worth it. <laughs> and I was treated like a park. <laughs> Homeless people came in and out whenever they wanted. Rode you? <laughs> they climbed you? <laughs> people played basketball inside me and my they, they were able to get nothing but net. Um, but so they sent us to like the local camp that was at the TW camp. And um, and we were, I'm not even kidding, like we walked through my neighbor's yard to get to the camp. People would walk through our yard to get to that's how close we were to the park my mom's because she was lazy and didn't want to go pick us up or not lazy let me reframe that i love my mom <laughs> she was working on whatever extracurricular thing she was doing like she was always like writing a book or do or she worked which is by the way absolutely incredible no no, no. now <laughs> what she's doing she's on like her third book in the past like four years yeah crazy. but to me the fact that you're Honestly, this is like worth noting the fact that she was raising you fucks and like then low key in her private time writing like that's amazing. Yeah, but there's no private time is the thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? She also was spending a lot of time in the bathtub reading romance novels. And I was like, can someone teach me to read? <laughs> I can't read. Can someone show me? I guess it wasn't the right book. It was easier for her to write like papers. Than robbing. But it was out of like love. Yeah. It was like codependency stuff. Yeah. But so she she didn't want to have to like leave her writing to go pick us up from camp. So she signed off a thing that we could leave camp like by ourselves. But she didn't realize there was a Wait, little, how old were you? We were like seven to ten maybe okay the camp was next to us though. yeah but also there was three of you right yeah. so it's like i do see there's you could be looser as a parent right. when there's three there may have been one that wasn't really like included with the others which is who <laughs> <laughs> she may have to dress wild to get attention she was a, dress like a kooky 90 year old woman to get attention <laughs> but um so we found the loophole in that and realized we could just come home any time of day. It didn't say like they can leave by themselves at this time. It just said they can leave by them. So we would go to camp, be like, this is boring, and just come home. My mom would be like, why are you home? You're like, you signed the thing, bitch. She wouldn't send you back? I mean, we, what are we going to go? Were you going to listen to her? We're, we're back already, bitch. It's late. <laughs> we're here. We're watching TV. I'm already popsicles. getting insight into what kind of parent I'd be because I'd be like, I paid for you to be at that camp. You're going to be there. You would send your kid to your camp with your 
heritage. <laughs> By the way, I recently... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while. I'm back, baby. I recently found out that Dave was a camp counselor. And why did it make me so turned on? Legit, I was like, we need... Because you weren't molested. So... <laughs> You were not molested, so you're like, it's Desperate. so hard to like play like molested. And you do read young, so you can still like. Thank you. There's still time. The yeah. Do you, would you not be into like a camp counselor role play because of your The reason chance? that I wouldn't be is because I got um, <laughs> oh, no. molested. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> Prayer circle. Crystals. I'm squeezing my yoni egg. I'm squeezing my yoni egg. <laughs> the <laughs> truth <laughs> is um, when the, th the last time I was in a psychiatric hospital okay, because I tried okay. to. Okay. Um, Everybody take a shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is the third time I was in a psych hospital. This is in Torrance. Was your brother alive? My brother was still alive. Okay, so you were banging him? We oh were my. still banging. <laughs> we were still banging. Um, hey, back, step guys. brother or possible? Step brother. Step brother. Step brother. Step brother. Step brother. Yeah. On. She's had sex with a brother that might be biological. Yeah, but or will we ever know? We don't know. Will yeah. we ever get that answer? But it still counts. <laughs> Yeah, the sex counted. Okay, but you know, you know, we'll keep it as a maybe. Okay. Do you now. wait? Do you have Dick uh, amnesia? amnesia. <laughs> no, because he was the brother. He was the brother. <laughs> yeah, he was the brother. <laughs> the best brother. Dude, step brother. Perfect penis. I was like, oh my god, for being my step brother, you have a baby. <laughs> Second brother, his he was the one who got circumcised a little too much, and so his dick wouldn't fully expand and it would hurt him. But he had, I remember That's having so like a, a really big untamed bush, and but a really sex was great with him. <laughs> um, <You're> anyways, <laughs> back to my um, when I tried to unalive myself when okay. I was seventeen, and I went to a psych hospital in Torrance. Um, right after, um, I had a counselor there who on my last day helped me pack and he slipped me his number. Yes. Oh, yes, I remember this. His yeah. name, um, he was, all I'll say is he wore a lot of Aeropostal. <laughs> um, and I remember that he was a single dad. You could be on this episode. <laughs> and I went on a couple dates with him because in my head, I didn't I think there was anything know. wrong with it. But I'm like, oh, this was somebody that sat in on all of my sessions and um, knows that I'm here because I wanted to kill myself. How knows all you? of my psychiatric problems. Uh, Sixteen. Did we ever talk about? We had, there was someone that <laughs> we know. Just changing no, no, no. It's the same subject. It's the same subject. <laughs> Please let but it not be the same subject. About, did we ever talk about? You know, we all know someone that had passed away, had taken her own life, and they had found out that she was having like an affair with her therapist. Do you remember this? Oh yes, yes, no, yes, yes. Wait, remind me. Yeah, so this art, this 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 really like amazing kind of shiny star it took her own life. This was a little while ago, and then this article came out that she had her, her psychiat or psychiatrist had been having an affair with her. I did not know about this. Yes, and when I read it, I looked him up. I went to him. He gave me Adderall. He gave me Adderall on day he did one. Give me weird. He gave on day one, and he did give me weird vibes. But I only went to get Adderall anyways. So How did that back. come out? Yeah, there was an article about it. Yeah, there was. How does everyone know this but me? That's really... I don't know. Maybe the Twilight Zone was doing like a marathon that... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was New Year's Day? Okay. Fair enough. Of Wait. course she'd know. For <laughs> maybe Wicked came to the... To the yeah, but that is fucked up. That's right a little there. bit different. <laughs> that will be coming in 2024. <laughs> Another thing that happened to me that was fucked up, brace yourself, was quite, kind of the opposite. I can bring this back. <laughs> Um, the first person, the first therapist I ever had was this amazing, amazing guy. He was just a school counselor and he was incredible and he helped me really figure out like what I was oh. feeling, <laughs> name my feelings. But then I had a swim coach who... I know, I can't look at this, I'm sorry. I'm having I, can't I know. Thank you for doing That's that. Cool. My eyes were doing the nystagmus thing. But then I had another adult in my life who was my swim coach at that time basically call my dad and say, hey, I think something is something fishy is going on with her therapist. Oh no. And cock I- Blocked her actual platonic. Good. And it actually cock blocked my joy because he was helping me out so much. He was so decent, so appropriate, never ever got any weird vibes from him. And I don't know if that's his, my, my that dude's own projection. Or if he was seeing something. Wait, the guy who you did hook up with did that? I didn't hook up with anybody at this time. I like that all of her oh. people are fighting over. <laughs> wait, sorry, I was. Wait, wait. <laughs> you have a little hole in there you can go through. <laughs> it's a little masturbation hole. <laughs> hey, look, can I see your masturbation hole? Wait, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Okay, but maybe he was seeing an inappropriate. Maybe he, he was, was never friend. there. He never met him. 
He just knew that I was in therapy in school and I never said anything. So I was very surprised that when he was like, I think he something is going on. I'm like, what in the fuck are you talking about? This person was so decent and so helpful. And yeah. I, 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 and also I had beef with that coach. Yeah. Like he, there was something, something going on there. When, when I, the first time that I was hospitalized and put in a psych hospital for my first attempt, he announced it to the whole swim team. Really? Yeah, he sat everybody down. My best friend was on the swim team. I was I was at BHC and he now was Hambra. Like, Look, that blood that you saw streaming next yeah. to Lila was not her period. Okay? <laughs> she had slit her wrist. <laughs> Imagine how fucked up that is. No, right? that's that was like fifteen. Like, and you could have just been on vacation or something. They don't have to say yeah. where you were. He sat everyone down. He's like, guys, I just want to let you know that Kalila is in the hospital because she tried to commit suicide. Did they call you Cuckoo. They didn't. Um, Kiki. What was <laughs> close? <laughs> what on earth could he have thought the point of that? I don't be? know. He's trying to fuck. <laughs> Listen, with Kalila, if there's a question, it's because they were trying to fuck her. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I had a boyfriend that said to me that once. That said that to me once. He goes, "If you've ever had like an issue with a guy, like just really, really consider it. they're mad you didn't fuck them." And I was like, "That's Look. good advice. <laughs> that is <laughs> it actually might not be good true, advice. But it fucking is awesome. That works." I really love therapy because therapy can give you the tools that you need to find more balance in your life so you can keep supporting others without leaving yourself behind. And we are so happy that this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Therapy is so annoying to get into. It's such a big step. It's like such a big, like, th like great thing you can do for yourself that when I first started therapy, it was you had to find the place that took your insurance. You had to find where it was located. You had to print out a map quest. Oh, you God. had to drive. You had to find parking. You had to have like an awkward time in the waiting room. And then you go in and the therapist, you don't even like, they don't even, you don't even vibe. And then you have to start all over again. And it's so hard. With better help, this is like the best way to just kind of start dipping your toe into therapy. It's all online. You can switch your therapist whenever you want. And therapy is helpful for learning positive coping skills and how to set boundaries. It empowers you to be the best version of yourself. It isn't just for those who've experienced major trauma. Like, it can really level up your life no matter what your situation is. Like, even if you don't think you've experienced trauma, like, it's America. Something. Yeah, like and I, I really like what you... Uh, I like that idea that you don't have to wait for a crisis in your life to happen to... Um, pursue therapy i think therapy is for everybody it's a good place to just lay your heavy thoughts down or you know have somebody an unbiased professional be there to kind of like work out you know aspects of your life even if it's not even if you're not in a crisis it's just like i think about it as like keeping your grass green Hmm, I love that. And if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Trash Tuesday today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, hel dot com slash Trash Tuesday. I believe that life is more exciting when peaches are involved. And that's why we're brought to you by Simply Spiked Peach. From the makers of Simply Spiked Lemonade, Simply Spiked Peach is now available 21 and up only, and it contains alcohol. Okay, you guys, summer is coming up, and I'm really excited that Simply Spiked has a new flavor, and it's peach. I know, it's a cute, girly flavor for once. And it's so refreshing. It's kind of the perfect drink, like if you're showing up to a summer party, like you want to bring something that's kind of a new product that not everyone has tried. I think Simply Spiked Peach is so ideal, so girly to bring. And all flavors of Simply Spiked are crafted with 5% ABV and 5% real fruit juice, squeezed, then concentrated. This spring, Simply Spiked has introduced a new flavor that fans have been asking for since day one, Simply Spiked Peach. Pick up a variety pack today to try all four new fresh flavors. Ooh, they have, uh, other than peach, they have strawberry peach, kiwi peach, and mango peach. Mm. Simply Spiked Peach is the newest addition to the Simply Spiked family, joining Simply Spiked Lemonade, which broke the internet when it dropped last summer with its four bold and refreshing flavors. Signature lemonade, strawberry lemonade, blueberry lemonade, and watermelon lemonade. Go to drinksimplyspike.com slash trash Tuesday to find out how to get your hands on new Simply Spike peach. That's drinksimplyspike.com slash trash Tuesday. 
Flavored beer, natural flavored with other natural flavors. Simply Spiked Co., Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Celebrate responsibly. Simply Spiked is a trademark of the Simply Orange Juice Company. Wait, on my drive here, I saw a billboard of um, Chaz Dean, and I wanted to ask you guys, like, is he a real person or is he AI? Real person. Chaz Dean has been real for centuries. He's at... He's the hair person. Yes, yes, yes. He's the inventor. You know how much this Chaz Dean ruined my life? He invented a a form of shampoo that is basically just conditioner. So (laughs) I thought that that, oh, like this is a life hack. You just. Is it when? Yeah. Yes. W E N. Let me tell you, that does not work. (laughs) It was really bad. I just was like greasy, thick, Uh, lotion y hair. Did you still use it? (laughs) Yeah. Wait, but when I see all these billboards, he almost doesn't look like a real person. So I was like, wait a second. Like, I mean, have you seen Nicole Kidman at the AMC thing? <laughs> I mean, I've been going to see so many horror movies. And we, Todd and I always scream when Nicole Kidman goes on. So it's like, ah! oh, the movie didn't start yet. <laughs> <laughs> love to you, way, Nicole. We'd love to have you on the show. I watched Eyes Wide Shut. It's, oh, we just watched it too. You did? Yes. It's so good. It's so eerie yeah, and uh-huh. i had no idea it was going to be so weird it was so amazing and didn't so make you want to do pilates with that fucking nicole kidman body i have to say it's gotta be pilates no 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 i have to say that i was like i'm so much more into my body than like that respect she's beautiful but I like you say tom cruise <laughs> <laughs> like this super i'm actually i'm like this is where I'm grateful for the Kardashians is like the super tall, super thin, like perfect ideal yeah. woman. I'm like, it's not, doesn't do it for me. They did start making people tall sideways though. In a way that I <laughs> You'd have to really, maybe your diaper butt can count as a. Yeah. Butt. No, but I just think like, I really do. I don't know. Maybe this is me becoming like more lesbian, but like, <laughs> I love a real woman's body. Wait, I do too. If I think about girls I'm attracted to. Yeah. I, I, I always think of a little bit more meat. Thickness. But you know what? Yeah, but you know what I will say about softness, soft and meaty. Nicole Kidman's body in Eyes Wide Shut that I liked as a small titty committee. I loved. Fair enough. The boo- the little boobies I loved. But she doesn't have those small boobs anymore. Why but not? I, but she has implants. But it now. was like a weird. It was a weird thing to see. Um, big little eyes. You didn't see. I don't remember. Yeah. It's just it's weird to see the progression for sure. Yeah. It's like. Oh my god, I forgot my stickers, you guys. That was the essential part of my outfit. <laughs> I thought I had glitter too. For some reason I just thought there'd be glitter in my car. I told Kalila, I was like, I think I have glitter in my car somewhere. No, this is There wasn't. There's a lot of speak- other stuff in there. Though. Speaking of eyes wide shut, I got these. Oh, oh does that go over it's for each label? For each um boob. It says oh. I'm horny. I have a banana tattoo. <laughs> oh my god. She now she thinks those fake tattoos are tattoos and the Oh yeah, it's this is this is actually a star. She's all she's, she's Esther. I know you don't want to talk about your sexuality, even though we brought it up every single episode. But um, that's the fun part. If you don't want to, talk and, about and and again, I you didn't even know that you don't that's have to cool answer fun. this question. But have you had full blown sex with just a woman? Of not in the context not. of a threesome, just with a woman. No, not full blown. Doesn't she look disappointed in herself? Yeah, it's <laughs> not okay. I feel bad for you. Thank you. I love, that's a, my favorite place to be is when people feel bad for me. <laughs> that's my comfort zone. Because, well, a lot I just of feel like you deserve that experience. <laughs> right now, a lot of people at home are making you feel Have real comfortable. You guys? Had full mine mouth. is always in the context of a threesome, but I had no, I had with just a girl, but I told you she got like two knuckles in, and I was like, Do you want to smoke a Newport? <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing here? Really? Not a boy. I just, she was, she had like short hair, she had masculine traits. And she was very interested in me exploring whether or not I was a lesbian, but I just had never really. Wait, wasn't she that. pushy though? She was a little pushy. She was a little seed planty. But I but I was susceptible to be seeded, so I was fertile. There was fertile ground. Fertile. Um, but and I'm glad that I tried it and stuff, but in the end I just it wasn't um like a hard dick. When you had a threesome with a fellow peer of ours, a oh my God. comedian who will remain nameless. Yeah, I mean, with her the other day. When you, she sent me a picture of one of the, she like she just sends me pictures of like the, the place we went to. When you guys. had a threesome, <laughs> did you guys have any interaction? Yes. You did. Yeah, yeah, we made out, played with each other's boobs. 
Yeah, but that's fun. That's crazy. I'm like in shock. It was really, you know what? I will be honest. I did feel very like sexual. Like I felt like really like, I like I felt very um, in my element having two people there and like one's a girl and one's a guy. It just felt good because I think I'm like pretty masculine in my life. So it was like to be feminine, be able to be feminine and masculine with two different people. I love that. Whoa. Cool. I, I feel like, yeah, one of my best friends I've definitely had a threesome with. And we're still good friends. I just saw her last week. Is there any? Does she fly at your pussy first when you see her? <laughs> and you know like what? She's really girl. soft Let's and meaty. She's really, really like thick, beautiful, like meaty body. But no, we had this thing when I was in in Ibiza. <laughs> when I was in Ibiza, we we had. When were we, you in Ibiza? Uh, two thousand. I thought you were gonna be like two weeks ago. We <laughs> trash Tuesday there. That episode is coming. Wait, up. Andres, <laughs> just for our own enjoyment, can you say the word Ibiza? Ibiza. Ibiza. Okay. <laughs> Ibiza. We learned. Today we learned. Um, also, Andres, are you like a permanent part of our show now? I'm uh, the new fixture, yes. And what's, okay, wow. Well, should we like welcome you? What if people don't know you? Wait, Fancy, have you been to a rave? I have, yeah. Where? That's where you got your name, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's quite a dancer. <laughs> are you a good dancer? I am. He is a good dancer. Yeah. Do you yeah. think that comes with your like heritage? It's just in the blood. Yeah. Yeah. And it's you're... like you roll your R's and you can also. Like, right. Yeah. <laughs> you're like a real man. Like you're a husband and a father and like you work. What is that like? <laughs> and you have a Castilian accent when you speak. So you do like. like I do. A... I do have the theta. It's cute. Could I, that, I, he said I, theta. I like this better than bad friends. I can already. <laughs> Why? <laughs> this energy is better. We're not abusing you. I don't receive you. compliments usually. <laughs> <laughs> we have to do both. We have to keep it even. Right, right. Well, it's like we have two like husband daddies here. <laughs> right. They, they they need to keep us in line. <laughs> They're just like my ladies are breastfeeding. What are my other ladies up to? <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. P came up with this idea, and then I was like, Oh my god, is P like a secret raver? And then he was like, No, I just heard about it. I was like, Oh, <laughs> I thought we were like unfolding something. Um, I. I had this thought, besides Chaz Dean being an AI, on the way over, like, when do you think sex became a private thing to do? Like, you know, in the animal world where, you know, we're supposed to come from apes and every, you know, apes just fuck anywhere in front of us. There's no regard for privacy. When when in that lineage do you think someone said, I, I think this should be behind closed doors and should it? really be behind closed doors or just we have we just been programmed to believe that that's the right thing okay. to do it has to be it? it's got to be religion it's like got to be religion it's definitely yeah. religion and then you know in the 60s it was like the undoing of that and then it was like everyone's getting herpes and everything so then they're like all right maybe we should close this down a little bit wait andres do you know that is it really <laughs> well because if you think about like when the romans and the greeks were you know they would have sexuality was way more um lively right even um, homosexuality the middle ages came in with the church and that was can like, i ask you a question yeah andres are you 23 or 47 <laughs> neither but are I'll you 35 i'm gonna guess 41 no that's da is that dave's age 43 no dave is so much older than that. <laughs> so you guys <laughs> how old are you pete wait 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 i want to guess i want to guess Look at me. You're 43. 43. 30. 39. No, he's younger than he looks. His wife's Puerto Rican. <laughs> he knocked her up right away. Is she Spanish? Oh, she is? I thought she was Puerto I can't wait for all the comments to like, imagine if they get, if they, this was the other way around. <laughs> it's also like, those people, why are you watching this show? Like, <laughs> this is for girls and cool guys, okay? <laughs> Not guys that are like, I can't wait to poke holes in women's stories. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> Like what? It's like this is not for you. <laughs> Comment on the Reddit. We know you guys are on Reddit. Go to Reddit. Uh, my favorite is like when they try to poke holes in your m molestation stories. It's no, like, they don't. What? Well, yeah. Oh, they my can't dad. Be my real. dad doesn't believe you guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. Um, um, but no, I, I, I was just thinking to myself. It's like, did the Catholics just inject shame into everything? 
into yeah. the fun stuff. They were like, enough fun. What? Bring shame. Wait, can I say more to the, yes. the trolls? I actually <laughs> yeah. like that you're here because it's funny to me the idea that they're just watching getting so mad every time we like talk about something that's like feminine. God, <gasps> these girls are talking about girl things. <laughs> they're oh, oh, this is so annoying. These girls are being girls. <laughs> they're talking about sex again. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to fuck them all the time, but uh, don't talk about it. It's like, you guys, you men, you go, we know your secret. You're biologically programmed to want to fuck us at all no, times. I'm sorry. They, it's like, shut up. They're like, pick or, which one they like the most. By the way, you competitively throw us against each other constantly. Like, I'd fuck this one over this one, but like, I wouldn't throw this one out of bed. It's like, you guys are sitting there deciding whether two girls that will never touch you. Wait, only but, two? Me, the I'll fuck yeah, them? three. I thought you said, he said two. <laughs> Girls, the, those are the lesbians. <laughs> Listen, I've seen some girls that look like boys at these shows, and you have a better chance with Esther. I will say that. Okay, <laughs> I didn't even add you in. <laughs> I'm not really here. Do you, I don't count as a person fully. <laughs> no, but yeah. Oh, you know what I actually do like is the the people who comment that they watch this like before jerking off. They're like, this is like a soft way in <laughs> to getting horny. Like that, I'm like, okay, that's like somebody like, you know. Or they give you the timestamp of when they came. <laughs> They're like, that's pretty early in. Okay, girls. It's creative. I like it because you know what? Sometimes just straight up porn is boring and you need to really like set the tone. And You need to kind of get mad at some girls for talking about sex when you're jerking <laughs> off. You're like, oh my God, you're really ruining my boner talking about sex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they want us to go slower. And be more innocent. It's just so funny. Todd's so funny. He's like, what are these men doing on here? Like, why would they go to a girl's podcast? <laughs> and expect him to be like, boy, talking about boys, like talking like boys. Yeah. Maybe my fans, it makes sense. Wait. Um, I know also Kira told me this like years ago, but speaking of men's coming, <laughs> <laughs> men's arousal. Wait, um, I know I'm still mad that it's Catholics that ruin sex for all of us. I'm Jewish. That's not fair to me. You don't think the Jews care um, about- I should get care to about... have sex to like reclaim this. They, that's, everybody would like that. There's no one saying no, except maybe your parents are like, Esther, come on. Like the only problem is that like I wouldn't want some dude just swinging his dick around and following me anywhere, right? But if it's yeah. just two people like consensually being like, you know, what? why can't we fuck right here? I do not want to publicly have sex. And that's a choice. But I'm just I, saying, like, a couple of people in the room. But I don't want like a, a crowd to form around and be like, go, go, go. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, though. Would you, you, you would take a shit on national television, though, right? That's the vibe I get. Not like I would have like my asshole spread, <laughs> but like I'll be on the toilet squeezing. <laughs> Yeah, that's okay. that's I don't want the right. camera to be like in the toilet. All right, Can right. that be the opening of your stand-up special? <laughs> trying to, by the way, trying to squeeze one out before you get on stage, that's relatable. It is relatable. Mm -hmm. Listen, especially that comedy store bathroom. <laughs> Sometimes I hear them saying my name and I'm like, I have not even pulled the toilet paper. <laughs> I'm like, be right there. <laughs> Wait, okay, Kalila, what about men coming? So, um, <laughs> Do you have a headache or are you pushing your stickers? In? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't, it's weird to have a hairstyle. It's like a foreign It's so feeling. cute. Thank you, mother. I know, it feels like you would wear that a lot. Be like, do you want to think about me blowing you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, also because you said that, you told me that like, not to make you guys uncomfortable, but I do want to ask the boys, when a girl, when you see a girl putting her hair back, is that like automatically make you blow think job. of blowjobs? Yeah. No. In <laughs> not they're at work they're at work. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so what do you mean like in a ponytail <laughs> literally just a girl going like this is like makes every man think of a blowjob is what i what <laughs> i can't even do this anymore <laughs> no you, that's sexually assaulting men i mean your mouth is very like blowjobby yeah, yeah i know yeah, i have yeah, blowjob yeah. mouth i know it's a curse kind of like a little bit like hot scrapey teeth no so i have like, like little... a little draggy could drag, yeah. If you like slight I drag, give, I, I will give, slight drag. I give like a like a prickly mustache blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm so lazy that when I give a blowjob, it's extra throat saliva, and I do a lot of like half hand. So I just don't like. It's just just sloppy. So yeah. it's good. It's good because I I. That's a life hack for me. It's yeah. like if you're how lazy. How do we get this done? <laughs> hey, how do we get this how done? How do we get through it? Get what through what? You just finish. How do we finish the blowjob? We got stuff to do. Yeah, I, have, oh. I think mine have been do. called like like angel blowjobs. So it's like, come on, we gotta get some clips going. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry if that is the clip done. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, if you require like a beach to complete, like no, thank you. Don't date me. Like yeah, the blowjob should be the beginning of the, yeah, yeah. And you can come in my mouth, but we're not gonna do it from beginning to end. Like that is not. Um, Why did you take it? Like she said that to you and it offended you. I unless you're like a three minute guy, then I'm all about it. Yes. <laughs> then it's like thank you Jesus for giving me this sweet sweet. Yeah. Like is this the same topic as the men coming topic you were trying to get to or no this is different okay. so <laughs> the 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 thing i wanted to ask we'll talk about was basically this that they did a study and i huberman talked about it recently but i actually heard about this study long ago when i uh i was podcasting with asa kira and she basically says that um well the study basically says that um crying and tears has a hormonal effect on men's arousal so um in this experiment where uh, men um there was a control group and then there was uh women's like tears that they would have to smell um there was an effect on their hormone no, for so they decreased arousal when they see a woman cry they basically decrease i've not had that experience and second of all it's a meaner man <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i was like oh, oh my god my God, because I've kind of had the opposite effect. Yes, no, I have guys, my ex-boyfriend was like, you look so hot when you cry. And I'm like. Same with Bobby. He would see me, like, we're going to get into a fight. I'm like, and is that right why now. you do this to me? Is that why you're yelling at me? <laughs> but then I had These recently started dating happen. another guy. And when I would be vulnerable and cry, he would call it the intimacy boners. He was like, oh, I feel honored that you're telling me this stuff and oh, you're emotional. Did it make you less horny, though? No, it didn't. Oh, you liked it is go. this science, You're mom? healing. I am healing. I'm no, like, no, oh my no, god, because this is sweet. I saw the study, and that's why I was so surprised by it. Like, it says that tears are when men smell women's tears, it decreases arousal. But you both are spreading lies that that is not the case. You guys think that men get horny from tears. Uh, is uh, this like your like fight because you're on like an antidepressant and can't cry or something? What's going? <laughs> why are you taking this so personally? I'm just so. I think <laughs> I'm not. I think the science is. You're like lying. I haven't cried in months and nobody's had a boner. Now. You guys, <laughs> it's either you guys or the science. When was the last time you cried in front of a guy in front of your partner? I cried at intermission of Wicked a few. Days no, ago. that doesn't count. Did you think Dave's boner? Did he, did he fuck you that night? Wait, were you crying? Were you <laughs> crying because you were moved because there was still half of the show left? <laughs> or because you weren't in it, or because <laughs> that's what Dave accused me of. <laughs> By the way, Dave and I are insane. You paid for the Twitter mark. We don't care. No, it, it went away. <laughs> I lost my check mark yesterday. I know it's. I know how suspicious it's. Been, but I swear. I want to tell you, I was in so the much. The bill is the cycle. And yesterday, by the way, the what? cycle ended. The billing no, cycle. Fundraise. I would know. <laughs> it had to be the, Esther. It happened. You know, I it. did not pay for Twitter Blue. I had a check mark, and it's gone now, mysteriously. You and can I'm, cross your legs as much as you I'm want. Have, we I'm happy. We know lying. what's inside. <laughs> we know the truth. Crossies don't count, or whatever. Wait, no. I I'm happy to be one of the people now. I have no blue check mark. I'm just like you. I'm Too just late. like all of you. My people. The day it mattered is over. <laughs> There was one day where it was the coolest thing in the world to not have a check mark, <laughs> and you missed that. This is so unfair. You were the only one. <gasps> I was crying. She texted me last night, and she was like, the Twitter mark thing is real. I'm like, yes. <laughs> well, I looked at mine. I wasn't even really aware, because I was just, what I was talking about in the last episode was Instagram verification. Right. Yeah. I wasn't even aware of what you guys were talking That's about. So I looked back. I was like, oh, I don't have my blue check mark anymore. Neither does Bobby. Neither does anyone right. I know. Mine, mine is gone now, and I know the timing you didn't is do weird. Recurring payments. <laughs> Wait, she used rocket money. It's so unfair <laughs> that this is happening. I would be so honest about paying. I would be proud to invest in my career that way. I would be so proud of that payment. Guys, please use rocket money, just like your Queen Esther. Wait, but you guys, um, King uh, Esther. all the cool boys that are listening to this, I, I want to know, we want to know, like, if, if you see a girl cry, like, what do you, like, can you take note of that feeling? Is it, like, up? Is it going down? Or is it a neutral, like, no net effect? Like, I really do want to know. Okay, and it, this is what I, I have a theory, Okay. If this is somehow about my check mark, you're fired. <laughs> Get over yourself. Ew. You have the kind of ego of someone that would pay for their check mark. Wait, Annie, you did dress We're like not a blue check mark. About you. Ew. <laughs> unfair. <laughs> you're sitting like a check mark. <laughs> I, I mean, Esther, if I had been more well, I would have been going so hard on you on Twitter. <laughs> I was just, I was not, not well. But um, what's your theory? 
okay, so my boyfriend would be like, he would literally time out fights and be like, you look really fun. I mean, this is when I'm like, <laughs> you like know? snot bubble crying. You know what I realized? You know what I think it was? It's filler, natural filler. Your face is like, oh, your lips get puffy. puffy. The salt. Yes. I forgot you do look hotter after you cry. Oh, that majorly. Especially if you have a big night, like night before cry, the morning after when you wake up, you have natural fox eye. Yeah. Wait, what is You it? have fox eye right now. Is it the makeup? <laughs> it's a makeup. Well, I don't have fox eye. You got the eye. threads, bitch. I will never get the threads. It Those seems things... so crazy stay in, but then they don't work for that long. So well, no, you then... also, like the the... Um, the risk of having them exposed and that's like so that's almost like having a check mark when no one else does to have your friends <laughs> exposed. But I do want to try micro needling. I do want to try it with you guys. Like I'm kind of afraid yeah, to do it. Yeah, let's go that place. Can you explain what threads are for people who don't? I know I don't. I just know that they put threads under your skin to lift certain parts of your face, and that is terrifying for you me. You know what? You I know had what? a okay. no. I was gonna say I had a hair person recently ask if they could take Shave your face. <laughs> had a, you can do it without permission. <laughs> ask if they could tape do face tape yes and i was like okay for a second and they did it and i i was like was that no. for one of your paparazzi pictures like oh my god esther's coming from the <laughs> surgeon <laughs> no but i will never do like i did it for two seconds i was like i don't want a single photo with it because i don't i don't want filters i don't want like do you remember the one clayton posted of you that was like it really was the best picture I've ever seen. Pro yeah, he probably like it was doctored so it with a PhD. gorgeous <laughs> that I and I remember you were like, oh, I think he had face tuned or whatever. And then I was like, I pay some rocket money. I pay so much money to face tune because I want to like replicate what he there's. It's impossible. Well, he's he has an a, artist. He has a, he's an art form. He's a but touch. I don't ever want to be face taped because you guys, when you do this. When you take the face tape off, you're going to look worse. You're going to hate yourself more. I'm so against that. I look, I think you can look good for a day and still love yourself after. No, I don't think so. You need to do breath work, bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do with my parents? My parents want me to do like a makeover with them where I get the tape. For you. For them. Oh. Oh, my God. Your parents are so different from mine. Your parents like. <laughs> Get the tape. <laughs> no, my parents want me to do it, like suck their double chins in and stuff and do a photo shoot with them. That'd be kind of cute. No, next family vacation, I'm getting it for them. Yeah, it's I so feel like. so funny to see them all sucked up. It's yeah. the funniest thing in the entire world. My dad. I'm weird. I'm Scott cool. Letterman. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Like, I know I'm a sucker for anything that says, try this for 30 days. And of course, I'm that person that forgets to cancel the subscription. I've had to, I've had to, one time I paid for like an anime thing for three years without knowing. Um, I've downloaded the weirdest apps like i don't even want to mention on here one of them is an insect finder Kyla, you're not alone because over 80 percent of people have subscriptions that they forgot about okay and let me tell you when i was broker it would be <laughs> like i'm overdrawn for some reason that you look and you're like i'm overdrawn because of an app that i forgot it's so <laughs> embarrassing rocket money will quickly and easily find your subscriptions for you and for any that you don't want to pay for anymore just hit cancel and rocket money will cancel it for you it's that easy and over three million people have used rocket money saving the average person 720 dollars a year that is so much money Rocket Money also helps you manage all your finances in one place and automatically categorizes your expenses so you can easily track your budget in real time and also get alerted if anything looks off. You guys, stop throwing your money away. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash trash Tuesday. That's rocketmoney.com slash trash Tuesday. Rocketmoney.com slash trash Tuesday. I have a question for you both. I really want you to think about this long and hard. Uh -oh, um, she said long and hard. I guess what it's, guess what it's going to be about. Oh, well, everyone <laughs> should be so mad. It's all she talks about is sex. <laughs> is it okay that your partner has nudes and videos of exes in his hidden folder? Oh, I'm so glad you brought this up. <laughs> no. Do you know what's in Dave's hidden folder? There, There is no hidden folder. Are you sure? It's well hidden. I would never ever date someone who has hot exes. <laughs> That's never gonna happen. That's never happening. He, she needs to be the. Yeah, there's prime. not a chance. If you have a hot ex, I will never even look at you. So you'll do it's intel nothing. before you even get serious with a guy. Like you need yeah. to see what his the lay of the land in his exes. What do you? No, okay, you go. What do you think? I was on Todd's phone, going through his pictures, 
And I saw a picture of my ass and I was like, oh, I look pretty good. Oh, that's not my ass. <laughs> and I was like, and he's like, I literally cannot delete this. He's like, this ex would kill me. We talked about it on Annie Wood. He's like, she would be so upset if she knew I had these. He's like, I swear I don't look at them. I totally believe him. He's like, I can't get it off. I go, give it to me. I'm looking. There's literally no way to delete it. It's really Wait, weird. What are you I, I looked at it. There's no way to delete it. He's like, show me how to delete it. It's on a phone. There, it's like, an, I think it's because it got transferred from another phone or something. I have no clue. So it's like, but he literally can't hear. Let me FaceTime. It's a, it's a, it's an ex's ass. <laughs> it's like his photo album with her. But oh, he's yeah. like, I don't want to. She would be so upset if I had this. Why? Because they broke up. She doesn't want him to have pictures of her. And do you, does it make. I you, know her. I like her. I think she's. So you don't care at all. It doesn't. Nah, I don't. Anything. I 100% trust Todd. And, and when he said it, I was like, what the hell is this? And I was like, you know, it's like, and I told you his DMs. I look at his DMs all the time, constantly. You do? Yes, we're all on each other's phones. Like, we're talking about boyfriends having pictures of their exes <laughs> on their oh. phone. Oh, my God. Everybody, look at Todd. Tell us what, why can't you delete it? Because they don't believe me. Because I saw it and I knew you couldn't delete it. And you tried to delete it. I did I try to delete it. to delete it. He sounds like he's lying, but I swear. <laughs> <laughs> She, how upset would this girl be? She would be so <laughs> livid. She'd be so mad, but I don't know how to delete it. She's a sweet girl. I know her. She's sweet. I just got to get a new phone. I've been trying to get you. He doesn't want a new phone because I'm going to make him. We found out Dave takes her paparazzi pictures. <laughs> he doesn't want to have to take paparazzi pictures of me because his phone's full. <laughs> Will Dave really take some of me? I love you. Yeah. Oh, yay. Okay, okay back to my point about um, partners having whatever... Um, spank bank and um videos and pictures of exes in their hidden folder i'll say this i had a problem with it until i checked my own hidden folder and i was like oh like i'm a hypocrite because i cannot get rid of any of this stuff so i judge myself on my intention as a person where i'm like well no like i'm keeping this for nostalgia and Did you actually like jerk it to that <laughs> sometimes that's <laughs> never like while I was in a relationship, but in between relationships, I would look at them and I'd be like, fuck, that was hot. Wait, OK. Is, is this a normal thing, like thinking about past sexual experiences? I feel like guys do this, but I've never done this. Have you done this, Annie? Like thinking about an ex and getting off to that? No, I don't like any of my exes. <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm more of a sender of pictures than a getter of pictures. I'm not I don't need any pictures. Well, OK, so my stuff is more sex with the people that's what it i don't have keep dick pics like at all like at all i don't feel like there's any need for them i never ask for them um but i do like watching myself like you know do stuff oh i don't like that i like it sex i like i have videos of dudes eating my pussy and do they know you're taking them or are you like yeah i was like so this is what i never have amnesia of the top of their you head because you're wearing a gopro <laughs> 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 it's always like a little like uh, they have to sign a thing that shy. basically like agrees to the fact that I have a GoPro mounted at all I times. Just, I feel like people's bodies in porn are so perfect in every way that like if I took video of myself having sex and then saw it, I would instantly be like the saddest I've ever been in my life because I would just look so like short and ugly. Um that's how you view yourself. Yeah. But I, I'm guessing if, suppose you and Dave broke up and she stumbled onto whatever sex videos or photos, she'd, she'd oh, be sweating, sweating. So yeah, what's the verdict? Is it okay? No. Okay, got it. It's not. It's not, <laughs> no, right? Get these bitches' pictures off your phone. Todd can't. I believe him. <laughs> <laughs> I believe him. I believe him. And it's like, you know, if it's something he fights for so hard, that's weird. Why is he fighting so hard? To OK, keep, good you know point. I mean? Like, why would he like why would that be such a big argument to be like, oh, does this make you uncomfortable? OK, I'll just delete them. I guess I respect you how you feel. That is the question. So if, if my partner did ask me to delete it, if it made him uncomfortable, be like, of course. And then put it in a more hidden, hidden, hidden <laughs> folder. Okay, but the other thing that I have learned, which I learned this from a Beverly Hills mom that I was a babysitter for, she I, she's like keep them on a long leash which that essentially means like whenever you tell a guy like oh you can't have this you can't do that I feel like that just makes them want it more and you're just like you're screwing yourself over yeah but then you're kind of not like that 
the burden is on you to do the work. Why can't they themselves have the like, why do you have to kind of like handhold a guy into not doing something like why can't it just come from them to be like, you know what? I'm not going to do this because maybe they don't know that it's something that bothers you or maybe they're just like not aligned that way. But it's like if you if you're being extra jealous, right, Mm -hmm. but your boyfriend loves you then they should be supportive of you working through your jealousy and getting over your jealousy. But just like if your girlfriend doesn't care, delete them or keep them. Yeah. And if your girlfriend cares, delete them. It just doesn't seem like. I think it's okay only if she's not hotter than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep looking that's, at those uggos. That's my bottom line. Like if You're if- like, only if you do a split shot of me. <laughs> Yeah, only if you watch me right after, then I'm good. Um, But you brought this up recently that, like, it actually does affect men's brains if they look at photos of beautiful women, like, on Instagram or in porn or whatever. And I've always been so confident and chill about that. Like, I don't care what guys are looking at. But, like, you're saying it actually will make us look uglier to them. It can. It's not it, It's not 100% oh, okay. it will. It can for some men, yeah, to look at idealized photos of women. And I think, like, Dave doesn't seem like that type of guy. Neither does Todd. Like, they, these people... Let me look at that phone, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I want to know something. I want to. I want your opinion on this. I recently went home to the Philippines and something was revealed to me that was very, very shocking from my family. All this, you know, everyone's just like, oh, COVID started in China. Um, these fucking blah, you know, saying a bunch of like racist things about like Chinese people and COVID and whatnot, right? Um, I was in the van with like 16 of my family members and everyone was like, what's your favorite fruit? Because like there's a lot of fruits in the Philippines that you like you've never even heard of and they're so freaking good and so we were like oh santo tambis and we're naming all of them and all like all of them and then one of my cousins like oh like quaknit and we looked at her and we're like wait that's not a fruit that's a fruit bat and she goes oh and i was like yeah that's a fucking flying rodent that's not a type of fruit and she was like yeah we shoot and eat them all the time so I think that my family started COVID, you guys. <laughs> I think patient zero is somewhere in my family. There's no such thing as bad publicity, guys. Okay, <laughs> Kalila says it here. She started COVID. Come Dude, get her, guys. It's it started somewhere, yeah, in the Aves lineage. Like that is, and um, I couldn't believe it. I'm I, like, okay. I really want you to start like a niche filipino smoothie shop with all those flavors is that possible i think people are already catching on to filipino flavors which is um like ube ube is everywhere now i love ube yeah but i grew up with ube ice cream right Mm. so um what else calamansi calamansi is coming over here now um i think soursop is coming over but we still have like maybe 50 more soursop might need a rebranding of the name soursop it's so good. But don't Wait, it good. sounds good to you. Oh, banana break. Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh. Wow, thank you. I feel like bananas are the perfect. Spelunking. I was like cave of climbing or whatever. <laughs> and um, it was like so muddy and I had mud all, and I had nothing to clean myself and I didn't speak really good Spanish or anything. So I was basically just trapped like in mud for my whole body. <laughs> Did you eat and fruit And someone that? gave me a mango and I thought it was a good idea, but it wasn't a cut mango. So I was just biting into it. So I had the strings from the mango stuck in my teeth, but I was too dirty to get them out. So I was in just an absolute hell. Like my teeth were being pushed apart by the. I I will say that mango strings. I think like I can. It, once I eat a mango, I have to have floss nearby because it's more of like a sensory aversion I have. Those mango strings get stuck in there and will not move. So that's a good point you're making. At you don't know mango Can't you strings. Floss your teeth with the mango strings. No, they're so like hard and fibrous. I couldn't use my fingers either though, so there was like no. You know relief. I'm like getting so annoyed at mangoes right now because when I think about when they're good, they're so good, but they're always like hard and disappointing. Where are you getting your mangoes? They have to be cut. 
Yeah. yeah. The like, slices. Oh, yeah. Should we, could we have a mango break one week? <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll choose the mangoes. Yeah. Also, I'll bring you Filipino mangoes. What's the difference? Uh, they're just heavenly over there. We We're... also should do Hawaiian papaya break. Specifically Hawaiian papaya. Oh, I know. I do not fuck with any other papaya. Yeah, the, the big, um, the big uh, southwestern papayas. No, thank you. No. no, thank you. I don't know the difference. I don't know by region. <laughs> the, the, the bigger <laughs> ones, they smell a little bit more like vomit. Stronger. More vomit leaning. <laughs> when I threw up, when I threw up all over the bus when we were going to the Mayan ruins when I was on spring break, <laughs> in uh, high school Cinco de Mayo when I was fourteen and we had all been just drinking and getting so fucked up, and my school trip went to the ruins. I threw up all over everyone, and the way the teacher justified it was like, "Oh, sometimes people eat papaya and it makes them throw up." I said that was what it does. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't the pina coladas. <laughs> <laughs> Um. I was thinking, Annie, about how you said you want to give Todd, like, a script for what to say to you. And it made me think of how, like, Disney movies made us think that men will just, like, act magically the way we need them to act. And how we, like, we're just expecting them to know what we want. And actually, like, I feel like the low-key secret to a good relationship is telling the person oh, I like when you bring me this or when you do that. And it just was making me think, like, what are other things we could tell guys? Like, because whenever I've communicated, act, when instead of, like, me sitting there being like, I wish Dave would do this, like, if I just tell him, he always says to me, like, I can't read your mind. Like, you need to tell me. And I feel like that messaging, again, like, we want to just, like, blame guys because they don't do what we expect them to. But it's so much better if you just... Like you said, give him a script. But how many times do you have to tell him is the question. Because I, I'm fine communicating Laminate my it. Needs. You laminate <laughs> it. You write the script. You laminate. You type it. Okay, so there's no misspelling. They don't have to read. This is how I feel your, loved. You don't have to worry about your um, handwriting. You laminate it. You make a couple copies. Three hole punch. It. Put it in a binder. And it's laminated, so you can put it in the shower too. <laughs> have it in the shower. That's so smart yeah. because showering is probably where they're fo most focused. I, yeah, I think that it's important to um, communicate your needs, but I think um, sometimes um, there are partnerships where the person is just not fucking listening, so they expect you to just always tell them what to do, and I can't have that. I can't do the hand holding anymore. I cannot fucking hold your hand. Like, just come as a whole thing. Like, I don't want to have, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm done with fixer uppers. Wait, that's like, I know what you mean. I am just done. I'm, I'm 38. There's, there's no reason why I should, um, try to seek anyone who's still trying to get I'm there. Sorry, you're not 39. I thought you were 39. <laughs> I'm 38. Oh, you are? Yeah. So nice. I'll be 39 soon. Are we going to cross over? No, you're going to turn 40 before I turn 39. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> FOMO. <Sucks. laughs> I just have FOMO. I'm like. We also I saw Gwyneth Paltrow was on Call Her Daddy and she said that when she turned 40 like you basically get a software upgrade like you just wake up and you're like your system is better and you know how to prioritize yourself more and I'm just curious have you guys ever turned an age or like had like a life event that made you feel like you had a software upgrade I just of all the people that I cannot relate to. Like you look at certain people, I'm like, oh, I could probably relate to her. Like Gwyneth Paltrow is like at the bottom. You're of not that like list. a bone broth bitch. You're not like a. I, I do mean, love you bone broth. No, 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 no. Let me clarify. You wouldn't only have bone broth. No, no, no. It would be like an appetizer. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it would be like a beginning and an end to a meal. I feel like 35. I had a little bit of a software upgrade. Is I that what you are now? Yes. Like I feel like, I feel like <laughs> 35. So <right> <laughs> this minute it's happening. <laughs> No, but like there's something about the firmness of that age to me where it's like you're not in your early 30s anymore. You are a 35 year old woman that just and I'm does that sound right to you guys is like being ahead of me or does this just nonsense of me trying to pretend I'm old? Well, like, OK, so I was in therapy earlier. Um, Dr. Drew um, recommended this amazing EMDR lady. And mm. so I've been going to her for it. And she was like, just, like, you know, she gives a lot of like tidbits about the brain and whatnot. But she was like, your brain really isn't fully formed until you're 24, like man or woman. 
And so I'm like, wait, my brain has only been fully formed for this amount of time. So it would only make sense to have like additional like upgrades you know, as we go, like a 24, that's an upgrade, right? Your brain's fully get formed. Get ready to rent that car, baby. Yeah. Here to just get ready to rent. <laughs> and so, yeah, I think maybe every decade, I suppose. Um, I think I had a really, really big one, a forced upgrade last year. Where, you know, when difficulty and when things like Bra oh, transitions. Is an amazing upgrade. Oh, it's like a forced it's upgrade. The number one forced yeah. upgrade. And, and you think, you think, yeah, you're, you're forced to really kind of reckon with like the pieces of you you maybe haven't like checked in on in a while and you think you're this you know in the relationship you've been in it for so long so you're like oh like this is who I am this is who I am and then you're out of it and you're like oh I don't know parts of myself and you're so yeah I know even the really bad ones when you're like so upset and you're like so like I can't believe this person left me it's like you always like six months or however long it takes later you like look back and you're like oh this was the best thing that ever happened no it's so true like the worse the breakup the better you are at the end because mm -hmm. you like suffered through you dug down deep and like had to go through the depths of hell I mean Clyla, I have not asked you this in a while. Like, how are you? What's your current state? Like, how are you doing? Are you enjoying being single? Do you not like it? Um, I, I, I'm trying to be alone. I really, really am. I'm trying not to be anyone's girl. And um, I was seeing people here and there. Really, like, two people. That's it. It's awesome. I've had <laughs> sex with... Two boys. She's still trying to make that tattoo make sense. Um, <laughs> not gonna happen, girl. It's never going away either. It's pretty, pretty serious. <laughs> and no shade to either of them. They're amazing people. But what I learned was no, like I am so far from being ready to be in a relationship again. So if I enter into something with someone and that person likes me for real, like we're in trouble because I have no rope. I'm out of rope. I still am out of rope. I feel so depleted. I can I can't even picture myself being like a good partner to anybody right now. I cannot picture myself like doing all the things I did for Bobby to for someone else. But you don't have to do yeah. that for Bobby. You sh yeah. But you did for Bobby for someone else. But that's you my idea of like devotion, right? Where it's like I have to really be so I I'm, I'm really struggling. Like I'm struggling. I, I, I know, but I'm, I'm struggling, Annie. Like, I really am. Like I don't know how to be alone and I'm now realizing like I, I don't know how to be alone, but I know I need to be alone, but also like to just reach for that phone and to have someone say, I really love you. I'm in love with you. And it's it's so conflicting because I like the attention, but I'm just not ready. <laughs> I actually, Does that make sense? Or am I just like, well, what I'm, I'm lost is what I'm saying. I'm lost. I don't know what to do. No, no, no. You're in the perfect point, actually, probably to meet someone because you wouldn't fall into that pattern of like giving too much. Like Annie said, like you don't have to give that much. And maybe this is a good time. Like if you meet someone and you don't have a lot to give and it's the right person, then like think of how slow it would go and how little you, you wish it was that way. What but when mean? someone likes you and they are ready oh God, and they me. want you. <laughs> <laughs> She's getting really serious about this too. She's no, gonna it's be like three true. in a row. Why is just like one day off. <laughs> That's you're just 35. You'll learn <laughs> when you get to 37, 38. But it, even if it is the right person, like I, I'm telling you, the last person I dated it's was so funny for her to incredible. Talk about engaged and she's like, <laughs> <laughs> you don't get it when someone loves you, Esther. <laughs> you fell for it too. <laughs> So it's like you meet someone who's incredible, who wants to do things for you, who believes in you, who has all of these things. And you're just like, dude, I'm operating at like 40 percent. I don't know what to tell you. And he's like, 40 percent is enough. But I'm like, well, my 40 percent means I'm not ready to be to be called your girlfriend. I'm not ready to get, commit to that. Like, it, it's a bummer because you could potentially have just like missed out on a great opportunity with like a partner. There's right? no missing yeah, out. Timing's right. always divine. It's always the right thing. You think? Mm hmm. Oh yeah, like everything's I, always happening exactly how it's supposed to. Happen. Well, that's how oh. that's what I fear. I'm like, I let go of two amazing people who really, really She's such a thruple bitch. This girl cannot <laughs> get away from this thruple. Shit. Not at the same time, Annie. <laughs> well, she's like, look, I'm 40, he's 35, and he wait, no wait, is that right? 60. No, he's 30. <laughs> Yeah, so I feel like, fuck, did I just like miss my opportunity at two incredible, two different 
people and no because it's I'm just not, not ready. But then this is like anxiety because then you're thinking about a thing that already happened. You're right. Worrying about that. And that's not like being in the moment and like filling yourself with what you need to fill to be ready to actually have a partner. Do you right. Know? And if they're, and when I'm, they if it's swing back around, maybe you, or, all of your ex-boyfriends are still in your phone. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> they're all waiting to tell oh, you yeah. they love you. <laughs> but they're swinging around back around for the wrong reasons. I just had an ex send me a picture of my 25 year old feet and like little flip flops and like without, with no context. And he was like, God, you'd be basically saying like, I should like my feet would make me a lot of money. And he sent me just, I'm like, Who, you took that win. Just you my feet. See them now they're flops. bleeding. There's nails. I them. know. They ruined the money makers. I know. What is it like to walk away from someone who likes you? <laughs> Honestly, Esther, that's a really good question. To not be pride. <laughs> because out. genuine Bates come down. Out. <laughs> their pan they run into their panic room. <laughs> <laughs> it's so it like it feeds you a certain thing that you need, right? Obviously, like an ego boost. It gives you like the comfort when someone's really doting and loves you. And yeah, um, it feels amazing, but I, it doesn't feel amazing when the person is like, I want you to be my girl. And I'm like, I cannot be your girl. It doesn't feel a little good. It doesn't. I cry. I've cried a lot over it. I've cried a lot over it. And only because they're good people. It's and just I feel so fucked funny up because you've been in this relationship so long. So like all these guys are waiting. <laughs> they struck like immediately. Like <laughs> they wouldn't even wait like a second. They're like, we're here. And they're like, you're not ready. You're like, oh my God, this happened like a second ago. Leave me alone. Yeah. I but it's know. fine. It's like you don't want them to wait for you, but you want them to be available ish to wait, you know? Yeah. And it's it would not hot if they wait. To for you. see them move on would be really painful for really well you would heal that pain and that's the pain you need to feel yeah and i think that's what i need to um i think my desire to be alone overrides my fear of like losing them i think mm -hmm. so that's that's it for now well, that's wanna, the update i want to make an amendment to my my idea of the the writing the people what to say to you because i think you just really have to because it has to be coming from yourself you have to write yourself the script and read it that's Ooh, my wholesome advice i like that yeah. Because you can't control anyone else and you can't be relying on other people to tell you what you need to hear. It is true. But sometimes you need comfort. I think it's okay to see comfort, but yes. That's why when I film myself giving myself pep talk, <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's so helpful. Time out. Is that what you want the camera guys? What? Is it <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for joining us for the Electronic Daisy. EDC. Just say EDC. EDC. Stagecoach 2.0. We'll see you guys next week. Be jolly, do Molly, baby. <laughs> Is that the motto? <laughs> I don't know. That, I made that up. That's <laughs> so good. By Annie Letterman. Do not reflect those of this podcast. <laughs> she hasn't done it yet. We will see Okay, you next we'll week. get back to you when she's done it. And she'll be like, how do we get a sponsor? Please subscribe and eat a banana. Good night. Bye, guys. Or deep throat it.